So can someone get in a chair? For spacing purposes. Yeah, for spacing. For spacing, that's pretty good. Actually, you guys look really handsome. Yeah, you really do. Chris, get it. Come on. You guys have spent all week together. <laughs> all right. That's as close as we've been all week. Okay. And remember to hold your guitars up so then we don't have to read comments like you need to aim the camera lower or hold the guitars up. Yeah, I think Maybe I think Paul McNary talk, was like talk either like hold the, the guitar up or, or put say the camera down. The time, 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 time. Okay. Oh yeah. This is a, a light colored center to your shirt. So are we going? Yeah. All right. So should we start? You're gonna come over here. You need, I you, I can I can yeah. come over there for a you little while. You need to come while. over here. Okay. I'm also gonna need another beer. I'm also gonna need. A, what do you want? You need a uh, beverage. Curse, it's yours. Ah, a yellow belly. Yeah. Can I have one too? Sure. I told everyone that they had, should have their questions ready because I was working the boards tonight. Mm -hmm. Um. And yeah, I don't you have can, you any, can go back and, any and function with like double, double back on that deal. What? You can go back and, and double back. Oh yeah, double back. No, no, but but like, but I don't have any. I I I will I will interrupt. I, I, like I have no while no we're problem. talking. Oh yeah, you don't inter don't, don't interrupt. interrupt. Don't interrupt. But you know I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> We work on this banner all all day long. All, We're like, it's an all day thing, and the hits just keep on coming. They sure do. Ah, all right, all right, Chris. We need to bring everybody up to speed because last night, after paint, so so yesterday morning. Wait a minute. So Friday night. Uh huh. Okay. So Wednesday at two thirty. No. Okay. So on Friday night, um. We got as much stuff as we could get done done. Yeah. But we knew there was, what, two more days to do paint things. And, yeah. and we knew that we were, I'll be honest, three hours behind. Okay. On Friday. Okay. There was no way we were going to get everything we needed to do on Friday done. Unless, yeah, unless we just just clobbered everything. And, and every time you start doing stuff like that, you got to know when to go. All right. I well, and everybody stop. starts getting sloppy, including yeah. me. And uh, yeah. Uh, so, so we decided to change up the order of the paint component in this mm -hmm. class. For one, um, we only had four guys. That, yep. Good Lord. That stayed, uh -huh. which makes it go a lot faster. Um, and the other thing was that we were just enough behind that I thought it would be the, the better way to go. So and it worked out. So what happened on Saturday morning? Then? So Saturday morning we came in and we finished sanding our bodies. Uh, really there were close, several. Right? Yeah, they were close. Um, we had to drill some holes. Uh, we did some uh, comfort contours, mm -hmm. uh, basic stuff like that. Uh, finished sanding them, and then right after lunch we pour filled. Okay. And then uh, we sanded that back a little bit, and then um, and then that was it. So I think. Oh, we were that's done right. Because after pour filling is sealer, right? Three. Yeah. Maybe. I think so. Yeah. Um, we were done, and so then I I went in and I sprayed sealer all over everything. Yeah. Two rounds. And then Two we all rounds. drove an hour north and saw Jim Jam Jimmy at the city at city Star, Star, Star City, city Star. Star Brewing in uh -huh. Bertha, Colorado. That was fun, except for me. You you were, I was I was actually yeah I knew today would be a big day so I sat that one out. Well, and an hour north then uh -huh. puts you at two hours to get home. Just about, well, right? yeah, kind of yeah, hour and a half. But yeah, I was I was like I could go, I want to go, but I also want to be you know yeah fit and ready for Sunday. Yeah, you needed to be which yeah I think I pulled off, dude. I'll be honest, totally hundred percent, and you look terrific. I Thanks. mean, there's just no two ways about it. Yeah, it, it really. I, I mean, I, I piss excellence. I'm not gonna say no. So anyway, but yeah. Uh, so uh, Zed, you didn't go up there, which we're gonna see if we can figure out why you think you're better than us uh, later on. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a, it was a good time though. Um, uh, Jim is is a uh, Jim and his band. Okay, so Jim's a great entertainer, uh -huh. but so is Vern and so is Noah. So they had a they did a three piece last night. So. Two guitars and Jim was doing doing this on the drum kit and uh, and Vern on sax and it was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, and then cool bar. And then we came in or I came in today and everybody made me feel guilty for not going. They're they, like, oh, you should have gone. It was totally did. rad. Yeah, best, there were, there were best these, JJJ show I ever saw. Yeah. Is what they all there said. were these little kids. I'm like, well, I don't really want to party with little 
kids. Well, no, they were really cute. Were they? Yeah. Were they now? They were very cute. Yeah, I don't know. No, it was it was a fun night, and uh, and thanks to everybody who who came up. But um, so then today, did you hear that pop? Yeah, well, yeah. you're getting old. Um, so today you did you got, you had to sand sealer. Yeah. So today we uh, sanded sealer. Um, that took about an hour, and the reason it took about an hour is because that's how long I told everybody they had. Okay. I said I can do it in 20 minutes. You should be able to do it in an hour. More than enough time. Yep. And uh, we did that. And then we masked and we sprayed color coats mm -hmm. and we made uh, logos. Okay. And we unmasked mm -hmm. and we sprayed clear. And you guys are about to see. And then they all took a These nap. guys did. Yeah. I had, we had to get out of here for a little while because I'm like, yeah. I'm not sitting around and watching. Yeah. About paint two and a half hours of drying time uh, before we came back. And we came yeah. back and unmasked. And here we are. So uh, I'm going to actually get off of the camera, but before I do, I'm going to do one thing. For everybody who's wondering, this style shirt, the one that's most like this, it's not exactly like this, but the one that's most like this on the, the website merch thing is the shirt that you get. If you buy this shirt, you get entered to win the Challenger Level 1. Mm -hmm. So people were like, what? Because it's just any shirt? No, it's the one that looks the most like this. We should actually get one of those shirts. Although most, I have one. I just didn't win. We'll not be able to tell the difference between this shirt no. and no. the the other shirt. So if you go on the, the the merch thing and go, well, that's not exactly the one. Just get the one that's the no, most it like. Yes, this. yeah, yeah. It's, it's that or this. It, it's yeah. It just get the one that's most like this. And if you want to be entered into the contest, it's this shirt. Not just and buy as many shirts as you want. Buy as many different shirts as you want. But you, if you buy a hundred of these, you get a hundred entries. Yep. Fair enough. Okay. Yep. All right. All right, so I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to answer all, all your right. questions that you're probably all right, asking. Who's right first? Now. And we'll get. All right, Jim's going to go first. I was practicing my witticisms. I almost, oh, I almost choked on my own beer. I better have some more. Right. Hey, Jim, how's it going I'm, since Friday? It's going great, Chris. How are you? I'm good. So let's not talk about the woodworking portion. Let's just talk about the paint portion. All right. What would you think of the paint portion? I thought it was really, really cool, and okay. I'm really happy with the. Uh, the way the satin actually sets off the colors on this. So this is what it looks like. Uh-huh. So show off the frame. back. Yeah, yeah. Hold it up. So we don't we, want Paul to yeah, bitch. We see all the blue here, but we also kept some of the natural because the maple on the back's got a little bit of flame to it, a little bit of fit. It does. It and, just looks pretty. And and it's a neck through, and you kind of want to show that you want off to show a that little off bit. Sure. Yeah. So I was really glad because there was a point when you said, I think I just want to paint the whole thing blue. Yeah, it seemed like the, the point of the easier way of doing it. I also found out it kind of goes really, really well with this honesty. <laughs> oh, there you right go. Yeah, we'll send you, that's we'll, totally complimentary. We'll send you home with the rest of it. There you go. Oh, awesome. So, no, this was uh, this was really cool. Like, there's a little bit of, obviously, finished work we're going to do, and I'm really excited to find out what this thing's going to sound like uh -huh. when it's all strung up and electrified. Yeah, I mean, so, so we talk about this in the class. You can you can look at this and find little flaws, mm -hmm. but really it looks really really good. It looks at least as good as something you're going to find in local yep. music shop. Yep. From the and day. and the fact that we did this in two days, the mm -hmm. paint in two days from from what you saw on Friday until what you saw today, this is a really really good paint job. Can oh, no. we see the Can we see the back again? That's, that's cool a stripe. I think that's a very cool feature. Mm -hmm. Showing yeah. up by and frame well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah. So this but that was that was a cool paint. So you idea, masked it yeah. all off. Yep. You did a really nice job masking it. Um, and uh yeah, you can you can actually see that it's made of wood mm -hmm. and that it's a neck. And through. it feels absolutely like butter. Yep, yep. So, and it'll it'll flash off a little bit more, it'll get slightly more satin than it is, not mm -hmm. much, but uh yeah, it looks it looks really great. Yeah, it's really amazing that we started off with that giant chunk of wood. Mm -hmm. Seven yeah, years ago. Yeah, the and big neck and a couple so, of wings. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we sealed up all that mahogany mm -hmm. in uh yeah. yeah. It just looks that short order. It does. It looks very, very good. Nice job. What awesome. uh, what's so, going what's what pieces what bits are going on there, Jim? That so well, I'm doing obviously two humbuckers. Okay. And I'm I'm kind of looking at a couple different sets of humbuckers. Um I was originally planning to go with all chrome hardware with a uh uh Tunematic tailpiece, which I'm still going to do the tunematic, uh -huh. but you know I'm starting to debate whether or not I should maybe switch my ideas around, maybe go with all black hardware or something like uh, that. Ah, because you have the black, yeah, have okay. the black, black would with be, the neck. That black might, would be really, really. That cool might be really, really cool. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do some some 
soul searching and shopping when I get home and uh -huh. figure out how I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. So. And you have a logo that you're going to put on it. Yeah. As soon as I figure out what my logo is going to be, mm -hmm. I've got water slide stuff at home. I can do and yep. I can throw a quick clear coat on there. Yeah. You can throw on. any, any clear coat so, over the top of this, just scuff yep. it back slightly. That would be good. Yep. There are a number of people who are saying that black hardware would look really good on that. I, I kind of yeah. am leaning in that direction very hard. Now that I've seen it all together because it's kind of hard to visualize until you have mm -hmm. it in your hand, but yeah. So now this has been pretty freaking amazing week. I will tell you that. Doc says that you should wind your own pickups. And I remember that you and I have, you and I have probably wound the exactly same number of pickups. Yeah. 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 So yeah. And, uh, and we bonded them. Uh -huh, short, uh -huh, which, uh, yeah. I would not do again. <laughs> no, I don't. Future. I still don't know why they did that, but yeah. But no, that no. was the Moserite influence. The Bondo and was the it? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that actually yeah, makes sense. Yeah, 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 I, I know because yeah, yeah um, Moserite. Uh, they ended up with a bunch of Moserite parts, mm. bodies, and stuff. And Moserite would use epoxy, not Bondo. Oh, the same, okay. Same basic. Yeah, same yeah. Exactly. Yep. Little history for y'all. Little yeah. history. Well, I'll say this. Um, looking forward to future classes and seeing what else comes down the pike, especially if there's barbecue contests involved in them how about uh, a barbecue the, yeah barbecue, barbecue component we could uh, we could do barbecue influenced guitars the and barbecue, barbecue theme the barbecue uh -huh. theme yeah, now you know someone actually owns two texas toast barbecue guitars we made okay. matching telly and p bass mm -hmm. um, really? with, with yeah. barbecue fabric Yes. Yep. And, oh, and I don't know why ZZ Top doesn't own those and, guitars. And I, don't know. I don't know why I haven't seen them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this was, no, Doug doesn't. This was fairly early on. I think they sold. I don't think they sold as a set either. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. oh okay. no, they, they did. did. They did. Oh, did they? Yeah, okay. They did. Good. That's nice. So you may see them someday. Well, I know that uh, you're talking with Gary, who had who didn't stay for the the paint stuff. Um, something like you know maybe doing a carve top or neck through or. Uh, uh, what do you call set it? Neck. Yeah, set neck glass or something. Uh -huh. Something we'd be really interested to come back and maybe do some yeah, like definitely. barbecue thing uh -huh. in conjunction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might mm -hmm. actually have an extra minute or two yeah, that would during be, a class yeah. like that. Could yeah. Breathe. yeah, yeah. Like that. This was, yeah. I think I think somebody said today. Um, well, yeah. There's no no need to rush, and I was like, well, why stop now? <laughs> oh, <that's>, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so, awesome. Thrilled with great. it. Can't wait to get it actually plugged in and make a noise. Good. Who? Cool. Hope right. to see right. pictures of it when it's done. Uh, Who's next? Will. All right, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Chris. Hey, Brian. Hey, yeah, Brian. Sexy green. Hey, Chris. So. so, tell us a little bit about your finish. Well, first, I want to say hi to a couple people. If that's okay, okay, knock yourself out. Hi to Laura, my wife. Uh, Olivia, my oldest at Michigan State, green. And ah, my youngest, Sarah, who's now it all makes sense. School. Now it all makes sense. Is really Michigan State the, the, the team that Jim and Joy like, or is that? I thought it was just Michigan. Yeah, what's Yeah, the... no, they like Michigan. Okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, you're making friends. Making friends tonight. I mean, it's all okay. the same state, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, now hold on. Like are, do you like the White Sox or the Cubs? Cubs. Okay. No, I, okay. Yeah, then they, you can they, still be friends. They might. Yeah, they might give they you might, a pass. They might give me a pass. I don't know. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. So green, green. Yeah. That was green. And Brad Guitar Miller says hi. Sorry. Green was really awesome. Um, you know, we mixed. This is a custom green that. It is a we, custom green. We, this this was the uh, third attempt. Actually, we just kept making it darker and darker. The first green when we sprayed it on, it looked yellow. Yellow. Especially and brown. On mahogany. Yep. Yep. And then we mixed it a little darker and it looked a little greener. And then we mixed it a little darker and it looked green. So then we sprayed another coat on it. And this is what we ended up with. The funny thing about green is you take green and brown wood. It doesn't necessarily turn green, does it? No, it gets muddy. It does. Yeah, it gets dark. And yeah, so it's a good thing this thing has a bunch of maple on it. Otherwise, it would look almost brown. Yeah, you can see not it here. really, but, it's but a little yeah, different you can see that you can see the tones and and the maple or the the mahogany the walnut the walnut. Good lord, yeah, third time's a charm. That almost that just looks black, and then the maple looks green, and this looks dark, dark, dark green. Can we see the back of this one? I I, I think that you guys can still very clear clearly see that it is the nectar, which is neat. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was one of my goals too. Uh huh. If you spend all the time on the and deal with the. You know the six foot long guitar. You can felt that way when uh -huh. you're trying to move it around the machines. Uh -huh. you, you better show it off. When walking you're... through the shop and not bumping into anything. Clunk. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what did you and think of the finish process? 
Uh, it was pretty cool. It was being careful about not too much, right? We were always trying not to, <laughs> mm -hmm. not really hard, trying really hard not to go through the, the finish. Yeah, sand a little more here, but not a lot more here. Yeah. And then you go outside and you blow it off of the air and you see a shiny spot. And you mm -hmm. got to. To, you know, yep, you see a, a low spot, so you have to kind of sand to that. And and yeah, it's. I think that's one of those things where you just have to do a bunch of them. I was going to ask you, Chris, is it something where you just know? For example, it, it, we've talked about this a lot this week. The notion of uh, it's not knowing what to do; it's knowing when to stop doing it and when to switch tools and when to not use the for the finishing part, when to stop using the orbital sander, when to switch to hand work and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I think so. And everybody did a, a, a good job in this class. I think I'm getting slightly better with my instruction on how not to sand through. Mm -hmm. um, and it was and, interesting. Uh, yeah. There were a couple of times when I thought I had it, but it was really dust. It was covered right. up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spots. yeah. yeah. So you got to clean it. So you got to clean, clean it off. Yeah, you don't, don't feel guilty for not getting it right the first time. But um, yeah, and, and knowing what, what, what the the finish paint's gonna gonna fix and what it's not gonna fix you know that was the hardest for me cause well because you have no frame of reference right. so yeah um but yeah everybody did a great job sanding and they look really good and this guitar is green and of course everyone wants to know what kind of hardware this will be getting uh this is gonna get dylan p90s in the mm -hmm. okay. bridge and, and neck a gold chrome, or chrome. chrome okay so i asked and uh, and then everything else is gonna be chrome but i'm thinking Maybe someday black. I can always switch it out. I can get new P90 covers. Well, gold yeah, is well, what everyone's is yeah, everyone's hoping gold. for. Gold yeah. would be very cool in a in this kind of you know in, in this very, green very, guitar, very pimpy kind of a way. A very St. Patrick's green uh, for the money and gold for the honeys. Yep. Is, uh, yeah, is, that yeah. sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you're allowed to mix up, mix and match too. It could be you could have uh, silver silver p90 covers and, and black hardware i could you know and i have silver cool. frets so it's not like well there you go yeah, and then put yeah. Black frets the in. strings are silver <laughs> joy says that the guitar is great but michigan she gives the thumbs down to michigan state uh, i would assume so yeah Good i mean I, and i don't think that's yeah that's just that's a fun rivalry right okay and something else that came out really nice we filled this today mm -hmm. and it, you know everything popped and it all looks good and it's very custom to me and you were you were you were a doubter you were like i don't think this is gonna look good i was us. worried i was worried I that's for that's sure true well cool it turned out great yes. so what's next on the agenda for you uh i'm gonna go home and i have to work okay yeah. sounds right I've, yeah. over the last five weeks i've worked too oh yeah okay, so okay. It, it's probably time to get some stuff done. too bad yeah, get to work all right well good seeing you again yeah. hope to see you i'm looking forward to what you guys are going to do next again year. again it's not going to be this hard it's not gonna... I'm not look for something easier. Yeah. Tree fort and dog poop picking up. I think that's the next <laughs> class we're going to do next year. Tree Butch, fort building? Butch yeah. Landry is, is, is actually wondering how the, how the paint extension works. Um, uh, can you, can you well, talk on so, that? How, what, what do you get for 500 bucks? So at the end of Friday, um, your guitar should be ready for paint. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Um, the guys that stay for the paint extension, then we start paint Friday afternoon. This class, we didn't do that, but normally I like to be able to get them into some sort of paint process Friday afternoon. It makes the rest of the week go or weekend go a little faster. So we do pore filler, sealer, color coat, uh, and, uh, and clear coat over the course of two days. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but it, it is. By, I guarantee you it's a, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So uh, for Butch, it's um, about like Thursday and Friday plus Wednesday right. afternoon, Thursday, Friday morning right. in the class that he took. So, yeah. And so then you, you end up with a guitar that you should be able to take home and assemble. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. So, so you get you basically you get two extra days mm -hmm. and a bunch of paint instruction and yep. and you know what it really is is you get you put a down payment on learning how to paint. Uh -huh. You got to keep up the payments. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you yeah. got yeah. It's we it's, sort, we it's sort just run, it's just we sort of run through it, and this is the way that we do it. You can do it a different yeah. way, but yeah. But you know, I think a lot of this stuff holds true no matter what kind of finish yeah. you put on it. Yeah, this is just so. your dipping your toe into paint. Here's what it's like. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, Zed. Hey, Chris. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Tell us a I'm little bit fantabulous. about your guitar again, and tell us about the paint that you decided to to paint. Okay. Well, what I decided on was kind of a reverse burst over the body of black into purple. And can everybody see that? I don't. I don't know if you can really see it in camera, but in person, us. I was panicking. Uh, I thought, man, that's a bad spot. It's dust. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's uh, so it's it's a metallic black. It's got a little bit of metallic yeah. in it, and then we mixed up a custom blend of uh, purple. Yeah. I gotta say, when you first started doing the purple on the uh -huh. body, I was like, oh my god, yes, that's what I want right there. Oh, good. I that thought he was gonna purple say, is really that's terrible. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted the purple to show up. Um, and, and Chris, people are wanting to make sure that you don't put your eye out. The headstock <laughs> is is a good 18 inches from, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You're not going to hit me in the face. Go ahead and hold it up. Um, I, I have reflexes like a cat. Mew, mew. So as soon as it comes close, I'll be like, Psh. yeah. So, so, so the way we did that was we started with silver and we mixed uh, red and blue because I happen to know red and blue makes purple. Sure does. And uh, yeah, so that's what we ended up with was a, uh, a cool kind of silvery purple um, thing with, with uh, metallic black on everything else. Yeah. So I thought it turned out cool. I was, this is the first time I've done a paint job like this with, with the black uh, center and something, something else. else. I've done lots the of other, other ones the other way. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But this is, so I was looking forward to doing this one. Didn't so you, didn't you and Sir David it. do something like that? Uh, we did something like that, but it, didn't uh that was uh back in the um the uh, olden days yeah yeah olden days when it wasn't really paint yeah so so for hardware uh it's getting a black evertune bridge a seymour duncan invader pickup and in with a special custom mm -hmm. maybe yeah. not maybe maybe maybe, not, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it on see okay. how it goes he okay. made a custom ring out of black pearl black material. pearl yeah for me the black pearl yeah. and then black tanners Black tuners. Yep. It's going to be cool, man. And uh, in case anyone was like wondering why there's no volume knob. There, I was wondering that. Yeah. The the pickup is just going to be hardwired to the output jack. Show them the Dude. output jack. Ah, my eye. <laughs> I'm not getting I don't know. Is that? This. that? Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Show them the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so so that's like a strat Jackal. style jack. Cup mm -hmm. football thing, right? That is a, yeah. a a heavy metal move. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? The volume just lives full blast in the tone, dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, man. Yeah, your <laughs> amp has knobs, right? Yeah, it has all I sorts. Do, of I controls. got a tuner pedal to silence it, so that's yeah, all you yeah, need. Yeah yeah. 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 Good plan. Yeah. Well, it turned out great. Design logo you got on there. Yeah. Tell us about the logo. Oh, um, this is just kind of my name, kind of jumbled up together so that it it just makes this cool design i think mm -hmm. and we cut that out on the cricket machine yep and i gave it to you and um i said well i don't know if this is going to work or not and i came back and it was on and i said did it work and you said yeah and i said did i have oh, to yeah. do anything and you said no and i said perfect <laughs> that's the true like story it. yep so cool looks great right. well thanks said yeah People really dig the uh, the the uh, all. Someone said all gas and no brakes. I said I called it the whiskey throttle. Yeah, just like it's yeah. just full up. Yeah, ready to go yeah. as is. How you doing, Chris? I'm good, Blue. How are you? Good, there was a man. white splotch on there. Sorry, you missed learning about what it's all about yesterday. How? What? Do you, uh, explain to him what that. What you uh, learned? Hokey pokey. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've seen. I know what it's all about because I've been there before. <laughs> I've seen that, and I've seen people come unglued for the hokey pokey. You miss Jim, Jim. You miss Leslie, Joy. Uh, she fits her name. Oh yeah, is a hokey joy. pokey. Oh, yeah, she's she Joy. Awesome. Was yeah. a hokey pokey. Right. Matt, yeah. Matt was there. I was all about the hokey pokey. Jim's yeah. adopted parents were there. Mm -hmm. Everyone was there, but Chris. It's okay, Chris. <laughs> I'm not trying to harp on you. <laughs> Fine. So tell us a little bit about uh, the the paint job that you you chose. That's like going back in time, looking at that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we went back in time on this one. Um, really nice tobacco burst on that one, uh, and I think it came out really good. And um, I got to spray a little bit 
and Chris helped me on that. Yep, and you shot the amber. I did the burst. You shot the amber. Yeah, seems right. And uh, I like the way it does uh, allow you to see uh, through it. Uh, it is a net through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can which see grain really on, on virtually every piece of this guitar, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I particularly like this part here where it, this doesn't burst over this. Um, yeah, this that is the first time choice. that I've done this. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it last night. People think that I don't think about things, but I do. Um, He's so a thinker. I am a thinker. I, I, I like to thank things. Now, while, while you guys have that in that orientation, we, the uh, Brian said if you're going to do a neck through, you might as well show it off. But one of the other reasons to do a neck through is right, how right. clean that neck joint is to the body. That's that's really yeah. Amazing. So so it's cut all the way back to you know the 21st fret. I mean almost 22nd fret. It is unfettered access to every single fret. And everybody has that, which is it's yeah. a, it looks really good, you mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, I think that's the only reason to do it, really. So. And the, the really the best thing about this guitar right now is uh, is the cat that's on there. Can you see that? Yeah, we cricketed that on there. Cricket. Yep. You know, yeah. Cricket. Yeah. So so you said I I want a uh, a cat paw logo. Yeah. Well, I said what a badass cat. Yeah. Paw. You said I, I think you said a, a cute. No, no, I didn't say cute. I that's just what cute. runs through your head. No, because that's no. what I googled. We'll we'll go back and look. And, and so I did it and I was like, Ugh. so I said, uh, blue, come over and, and scan through all these images and find one that you like. We'll you said find it. one that's cute blue. And I was like, no man, cool. Whatever. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, ended up that way. And the cool thing is the truss rod comes up on, and it's almost like the little kitty's holding it. Like he's playing with it like this. Yeah. 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 I agree. So I agree. <laughs> thank you. Uh huh. You're welcome. So uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. You, the extension, I think, uh, is is the way to go. The, the, the paint two day extension. paint extension and moving right you along. The two day, yeah. yeah. You learn a lot on that. You learn a lot on that. Yeah. It's not just all sanding. It's not all sanding. It's, and it's, if, if you don't know how to paint a guitar, you got, you know like what what to sand, how, what sandpaper to use, mm -hmm. how to level everything, the the different types of things that get sprayed on there and have mm -hmm. to be you know sand it back off and again yeah, yeah the, the the two day paint extension is really just a kind of a like i say it, it's you got it it's your down payment you go it's, back with knowledge you, yeah, yeah it's fast and furious yeah and uh you yeah really you can do. take away a whole bunch or mm -hmm. you can take you away really nothing do. but but the well worth job well but worth but you end up with something really really cool and ready for assembly i think a lot of guys and this is one of the reasons that we decided to to add the two day paint extension beside the fact that we got the uv thing and we could actually make it happen um is a lot of guys i think stumbled when they left this particular class without the two-day paint extension they went home and they went i got this cool thing i don't know how to finish this yeah and you learn a lot more than just just paint i mean you, you go through like how to finish the fretboards uh -huh. how, to, how to drill the holes for the, the bridge uh -huh. um, that was all extra all the, you're not supposed oh, to talk about that we don't do that here yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, we uh, yeah, we 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 talk about a lot of other stuff that hopefully you you took notes or you recorded my my witty um, dissertation and you can take that home and do it your own damn self. Share it with my friends. Yeah, be between what I said and our videos on the YouTube's, you should be able to assemble this guitar with a little bit of effort. Ask Mark Danner. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. Who, who did the same and came up with something really, really rad. So, nice. yes. Yeah. Well, I yeah, look forward to seeing a picture. Yeah, yeah, if I don't see a picture of this done, I'll consider then this Then I won't be failure. able to come to the next class. No, you'll still be able to come, but but I'll be, like, bummed out. Yeah. People are wondering what hardware on this one. Uh, well, look, I have some uh, historic uh, custom buckers uh, from Gibson Custom Shop going in this one. Um, I was going some Grover tuners. I might think that back through, make a maybe a, a more classical looking tuner on there. You know what looks really, really good is the hip shot open gear tuner. And then you change out the buttons to uh, the, the, the ivory plastic. Ones. Yeah, yeah keystone. that's exactly what yeah, I was thinking. They are really cool yeah, and they feel really, do. really nice. Although I don't know they if the should... holes are too big. Nope. Nice. Nope. They, they drop right in. Um, but those, those ivory tuners, those, yeah, keystone tuners just feel right when you turn them. Yeah. It's some really, gold really knobs, nice. I think on there. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some amber knobs. Yeah. Some amber yeah. knobs. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 
Yep, the red strings. Yep. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Red Make string. Sure we get nuts for everyone today. Oh yeah, yeah. Remind me. Don't don't let me forget because I have nuts. I don't want to forget your nuts. You want to see my nuts? Maybe Hot later. nuts. Yeah, I have a whole bag of them. We'll talk about that after this. It's it's weird because normally my nuts aren't the same, but these nuts are all the same. And your nuts are in a bag, or is it a sack? Yeah, well, it's it's <laughs> a uh, it's an Amazon bag sack. Yeah, sure. My Amazon nut sack. So uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys. Really well, appreciate thank you. It. Yeah. It's been a really good week. Good. I enjoyed everyone in the in the workshop. Great and we've enjoyed you too, Blue. And uh, I really enjoyed going out every night. Party and all night. Party you guys are, all yeah. The time. Yep. Lots of beer. Uh huh. From Chris at Olympic. Yep. Odyssey. Odyssey. Olympic. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of but Chris person. is Olympic. <laughs> 22 automatic on my person. Uh, yeah. I don't do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a fun week. And it's not just about building guitars, it's also about having fun and making hanging friends. out, making friends. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll keep in touch with, I'm sad to with, see you down. with some people. Well, yeah, hopefully. And hopefully, you'll come back for another one. Yeah. And that goes for everybody, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Matt has me back at his house again. Sure. For what I did to it. I know. Did, I, have, I still haven't found where you peed, but I will. Sorry, Joy. <laughs> but I will. It, it wasn't the dog. <laughs> So, so uh, blue. I'm gonna put blue on the spot here. You you bought everybody a shirt, didn't you? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That what was very rich? kind of you. Yeah, but you know, I had to use my. Uh, the thing about the website is you have to put a, an email address in there, and I didn't get everyone's email address. Oh. So okay, I had to send them all to me, and then send them from my house to them. Okay, we'll sort that. Well, that's out. very 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 good of you, blue. You're you're a good guy. Everybody else is a good guy too. Not, my, my, not everyone on not everyone on the on the, the website right now. No, no, no. You bought every everybody who yeah. was in the workshop. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. All all six other dudes. Hopefully, yeah. you bought one for yourself as well. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite part was when um, uh, somebody said uh, after you 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 offered that up. And this is the way I heard it. It may not be true. What are you rich? And and you said not blue. What if I am? <laughs> Who I mean, said that? Like oh, that. wait. I never think mind. you said that. I think you did. I think you were. You I, were said, does it, I said, does it matter? Does it, oh, yeah, you want the it, shirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it, does it matter if the I shirt am? or not? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, you yeah. want the shirt? You want to be you entered? Want the shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was really, really funny. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I practiced. Because it was, that was very nice of you to buy everybody a shirt. I mean, Matt and I didn't get one. We That's don't okay. We get, I get them free where I work. <laughs> yeah yeah so well so on that note nice good job thanks a lot guys turned out great appreciate it yeah that's, appreciate a, it. that's a good looking guitar thank you well take us home boys uh so this is chris <laughs> and this is blue and uh saying if you're so smart build your own guitar that's what i did there you go you could do it too i what let me hold on you can do it too it's it's easy and fun right it's easy and fun there you go all right, you guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>